guys welcome back to the channel I am Kelly Nichelle today I'll be sharing with you my skincare routine now the first step in my skincare routine is get rid of these hairs on my face now it's normal for I know a lot of us females we might feel some type of way about this but it's normal to have facial hair and on our the first skin. thing I do is I get my tweezers and I find the hairs on my chin and you can find these here by just rubbing your hand on your face and you'll feel them Trust me, you'll feel that. And I get a compact mirror and I just start pulling. After I finish tweezing my face and get rid of the hair, the next step I would do is I'll go in with a razor, just a regular razor, and shave my peach fuzz and my face and all of that. But I'm not going to do that today because I did that a few days ago. So I'm going to jump on to my next step, which is steaming my face. I have to use a steamer. You could use a wash rag, but steaming your face opens up your pores. And I'll keep steaming for like another 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure everything is opened up and my face is ready for all the goodness that is to come. And in the water that you're using to steam your face, you could add some peppermint oil just to further open up the skin or some lavender just so you know open up and provide that goodness that you want for your skin whatever essential oils that you may like you could add it now to the water while you're steaming i am done steaming and i can tell you my face feels so supple it feels like a baby's bottom one two is vacuum in my face i have a lot of i have not a lot let me not say a lot i have some blackheads and white and i just want to go in and use this tool it's a bit noisy to remove the whiteheads from my face and it's basically like a little suction and guys this thing really works this is gonna be a little gross you look on it you could see all the yuck that came out of my face and that's from just doing it on my nose right here so I'm gonna continue doing that and speed it up One thing I will tell you, if you use this machine, it will leave your face a little bit red from the pulling, but it's totally worth it. I will, guys, I just want to show you again what came out, what's coming out of my face just by using this one little tool. And I really don't want to skeeve you out, but I want you to see that this works. I just want to point out something to you real fast my skin is a little red and my pores are more pronounced but that's from using the the vacuum and this will happen so don't be alarmed my face is not hurting or nothing I'm gonna go in with my cleanser and yes guys this is the ace and Ives cleanser but I find it works and it's affordable and I like it and as you could tell I've used it a lot Alright guys, after I wash my skin and rinse it off, my next step is to, and this is where a lot of people forget, to scrub my lips. Now, remember, your lips is a part of your face, so if you're cleaning and scrubbing and doing all that good stuff to the rest of the face, don't forget your lips. And for my lips, I'm using a homemade lip scrub. And what I do is, I just use my finger and rub it on. And I know this looks a little messy, but get a toothbrush and rub this on but I just feel like using my finger. Part of it about making your own scrub is you just go in and because you know what's in it. Mm, it. tastes so good. And if you look at my lips you could tell that they really enjoyed that scrub. It does. Now it's time for toner and this is the toner I'll be using. This is a toner from Proactive and what a toner does is it's just an extra step of cleansing, cleaning your face. It cleans your face basically and gets rid of any excess oils or anything. So after I uh, cleanse and whatever, I just go in with my toner and this is the one as I said from Proactive. There are several toners out there that you could use but I just like using this one and what I do is I just put it on my cotton ball. Ooh. And I just go in and and the toner absorbs into the skin quite fast and guys normally I would not be sitting down and doing my skincare and and you should allow your toner to sit for a few minutes just for it to dry down really quick 
you know it does not really take long now I'm going in with my serum and what a serum normally does is it um, gives your skin a smoother texture make pores appear smaller and firms the skin and you can get any serum you like but the one I am using it has in glycolic acid and aloe vera let's take a few droppy drop drop drippity drippity drop take my finger and just work this in pat 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 it in and guys as I said this is not a skincare that I would do every day this is when I want to give my skin extra love so on a regular day what I'll do is I'll wash like during the day I'll just wash my cleanser then I'll add my serum and my face cream on a regular day like if I'm going to work or if I'm in a rush but when I want to give my skin extra love this is what I do I am not a esthetician nor am I a dermatologist but this is just what I do for my skin now that serum is in the skin serum has dried down I'm going in now with my eye cream and I just rub it under my eyes I don't use an eye cream every day an eye cream is supposed to get rid of crow's feet is that what they call them wrinkles under the eyes and stuff like that but to be honest I don't use a this the, an eye cream is one of the products I use least in my skincare I use it on a day like today <laughs> you know when I'm giving myself extra love now it's time for me to moist so I've added my toner my serum my eye cream now it's time to moisturize my skin is looking moisturized but I like to go in with extra step of my moisturizer my face moisturizer and this is the one that I'm using it has in turmeric and vitamin C just work that into the skin circular motions and you want to bring your moisturizer down on your neck don't forget your neck And as I said, uh, my lips, they're part of my face. And this is the point where I would go in and moisturize my lips as well. And I'm using this coconut oil. I do that because I'm the only one using this. This is my personal coconut oil. Nobody uses this. So I just put it on the lips and that's now, it. So guys, this is the end of my skincare routine. It's not what I do every day, but it's what I like to do when I'm giving myself extra love. So you don't have to feel like you have to do all these steps every day, but at least try to do it at least once every two weeks or three weeks. Do a complete, you know, steam and everything of your face. But what I normally do, as I said, I cleanse, I will tone a lot of the time, and I use my serums every night and my moisturizer. Now, this is a point where you would go in and put on your sunscreen if you're going out, or if you want to spot correct, like you have blemishes, like I have blemishes on my skin. If I was into spot treating or stuff like that, this is the point where I would go in and do that, but I'm not going to do that because I don't do that on the regulars either way. And before we go, I just want to leave us with some quick tips. Try not to like sleep in your makeup. Try not to do that because a lot of us, we go out and we come in. I do it myself. I sometimes sleep in my makeup. It's not good for the skin at all. And another thing is try not to wear foundations all the time. Try not to wear too much makeup. Let your skin breathe. I don't wear makeup all the time. I don't because I want my skin to be able to breathe guys we are at the end of this video and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share comment and most of all subscribe I hope your day is as wonderful as you are